Hey there guys, Tyrese Joyner here and January continues on. I'm here to tell you guys about <sighs> Legends of the Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple is another classic game show. I mean one of the classic game shows on Nickelodeon. That show premiered in 1994. Hosted by Kirk Fogg and that talking Stonehead is Olmec. Yeah, but in order to enter Olmec's Mayan Temple, the, the six teams have to pass three tests. And in the end, only one team earned the right to enter Olmec's Temple to retrieve the lost item. Yeah, in the first round, they have to cross the moon different ways. The second round, the steps of knowledge. Because before the steps of knowledge, Olmec tells the story about the item. And then they'll tell him where's Loken in one of the rooms. So the steps of knowledge, they have to remember the answer to each question. They have three seconds to answer. Two teams reach to the bottom level and advances to the temple games. And then in the temple games, each team is competing to win pendants of life. The winning team will need those pendants to protect themselves from the three Mayan temple guards as they make their way to the temple of Olmec. There are three temple games. For each, to the, for each game, whatever one team has the most stuff will get a pendant. A half pendant, that is. Yeah, because the, two, the two games earn a half pendant, and the final game worth a full pendant. So if a team wins, a, wins two pendants, they win to the temple. But, if a team gets a pendant and a half, well, still, they go to the temple. However, if both teams got a, a full pendant each, they go on a tiebreaker, and the winning team will, who got the correct answer, go into the temple. Now, um, the changes on the first season, the second season, third season, well, on the tiebreaker for season one of Legends of the Hidden, of Legends of the Hidden Temple, if the team get it wrong or run out of time, their opponents automatically win. But on seasons two and three, well, that doesn't happen. That didn't happen because Kirk Fogg just says that if they get it wrong or run out of time, the other team will get a chance to answer. And in the temple, the teams will have three minutes to try to retrieve the item on that exact, exact room, but the catch is they have to avoid temple guards. So, they had to avoid those three temple guards. Because if, if they enter one of the rooms, the temple guard will come out of the door and capture you. But if they give them a pendant, they can go on. However, if the temple guards came out if the, to a contestant that don't have a pendant, they're automatically out of the temple. And their partner will have to enter the, the temple. Now, uh, if you have two pendants, well, you don't have to worry about it. However, if you have a pendant and a half, well, if your teammate, well, if your partner has the half pendant, they have to find the other half of the pendant. Because the temple guards only accept full pendants. If They don't accept half pendants. They only accept full pendants. And as soon as they reach the item, all the doors will automatically unlock and the temple guards will vanish. And once that happens, they get the grand prize. Well, when you get inside the temple, you get one prize. Grab the item, you get two prizes. And once you're out of the temple, you win all of the prizes. And that's how Legends of the Hidden Temple goes. Alright, goodbye folks. Thanks for watching. Getting a shout out to all of you. And as always, keep it real and stay in school.